Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm actually going to show you how, how you can make both a toggleable uh, toggle and a button. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> So first off, um, yeah, you just make a normal button, so I just have this one. So then you just use the Go to Lua plugin to make it into a Lua, uh, a Lua script. So then you just make your, uh, yeah, so this is script we made yesterday. Create function, create button. So we will probably need like a name for the button, the window, and a callback. And there. So we're going to be able to do create button like button name. And then yes, because that's the window name. And then and print button was clicked so that's what we're going to be able to do in the end of this video so this is pretty easy actually so what we have to do is it button dot mouse button one click uh, connect function and p call call back that should basically be it. So I was thinking of doing some other stuff too. Oh yeah, I just forgot. Player stop local player up player GUI when there. Under fifteen. Oh yeah. It's called window, not win. Shit. Um, mouse button one dot click. Why did that error do? Attempt to index nil with mouse button one click. Should we just redo it? Button dot mouse button one click connect to function and p call call back. That has to work, right? I'm just gonna make sure. Oh, yeah, so. I would want to do like name equals name or new button callback equals callback or function and oh there so why doesn't that work line one hundred eight twenty eight oh I'm kind of dumb sorry. So yeah, that actually works now. I was thinking of like making it pop or something when when it's clicked, but I'm probably just going to do that in the last episode then. So yeah. Oh shit. So yeah. And now I'm just going to show you how you can do the toggle. So I would recommend when you're doing like a slider or toggle or something, because this isn't, this isn't just going to be one object, it's going to be multiple ones, so you just create a frame for it. So, I just named it toggle, this won't really matter. Then I have a button, which is there. Then there's a image label, which this round thing. Then the text, which shows if it's on or off. And then there's the label. So I'm just going to do the same thing, go to Lua. Then just copy it. So, yeah, function create toggle name comma window callback and uh, 
Uh, okay, so I'm just going to remove these comments because they were kind of annoying. So yeah, now we just have this. So let's just change this real quick. Okay, uh, there. Oh shit. So we can actually take this thing to. And actually, if we want to, we can do. Uh, local shirt equals find first child window. If check is not false, is not nil, then and so this is checks if the window actually exists, cause it will error if it doesn't exist. So I'm just going to add this here too. So there and then there. Okay, there. So now I would want to change the name of this to be button. Wait, I'm just going to check if I did it for this too. Yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, so name equals name. So I'm going to show that later then. So the text. Uh, yeah, we want to change the label. Label equals no, not the name. Oh shit! Uh, we want to change the text of it. Label dot text equals name. So now we're actually going to get into the coding. This shouldn't be that hard either. So button dot mouse button one click connect. Oh yeah, connect. Function and p call call back. So yeah. Then we also have a. Wait, I could swear we actually had something else. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, I'm just trying to remember this. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's actually not how I did it. Uh, I did trigger, then I had a function trigger. And so then I had enabled equals not enabled. So what this is does, so if it's false, then it will become true. If it's true, then it will be false. Shouldn't we like create a local enable something like that? Oh yeah, uh, we need a uh, local switch actions. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to that should be everything like at the top. Text dot text equals enabled and utf8 dot chat. So this is basically like a MOE or whatever. Or yeah, or just empty. So then we want to p call call back comma enabled. So yeah, uh, then we want a function switch actions set state. So this is just for returning the switch actions, like if it's true or false. Enabled equals state check mark dot text equals. Wait, no, it's not called check mark. What's it even called? Isn't it just called text? I think so. Text.text .text equals 
labeled um, in TSA shell. Or because you know why we like typing down some type down some stuff. And then we just put uh, switch actions. So I'm not sure if this will work first try. <laughs> Pre toggle toggle yes function v or whatever and if we true down print yes else print no so this should print yes when it's on and no when it's not So did we even get a toggle? Yes, we did. It's named toggle. So now if we're going to yes, we should have a frame called toggle. Yep. So does this work now? Oh yeah. Uh, so I would just want to there. So yeah, that actually works. Yes, no, yes, no. So yeah, we've actually made a both a button and toggle now. So next episode, I'm probably going to add sliders, uh, dragging, and maybe something else. I'm not sure. Bye guys.